Hi everyone! I would like to share with you how I made a virtual Connect 4. This game is good to get the attention of your students. You can have them play this and as an engagement activity in your class. You will notice that this uses hyperlink so it enables you to navigate the game easily. I use this as a review after our Google Classroom orientation. So when students are able to answer, you just need to put the chips in their respective number hole, like this. The rule is just the same with the usual Connect 4, but here I did Connect 5 since we have more time and I can elicit more responses from the students. So the instruction is that students need to choose a hole and answer the question and when they answer it correctly, you get to place the color of the chip. You can divide the class into two if you want, for example, boys versus girls, or you can create your own groupings. So the rule is just the same with the usual Connect 4 board game. The first to make a combination of four diagonal line or vertical or horizontal wins the game. So let us go through the step-by-step -step procedures and how you do this virtual Connect 4 game. Let us start. First, you have to go to slides.google.com. You can search it in the Google Chrome browser or you can just search Google Slides. By the way, you can also use PowerPoint presentation in doing this and the instructions are just the same. So here we start with a blank canvas and you will notice that uh, when you click the plus sign at the upper left, you will see different canvas. So you just click the blank because we will not be needing the, the text. So there are different tabs like file, edit, view, insert, format, and others. And then you will notice that you will be needing the shape. So you can choose from different shapes and then arrows, um, there's text box which we'll be needing later on and then you can also change the background.
canvas. So what I did here is I just um, click control in my keyboard and then click all of the numbers so that I will not have a hard time copy pasting everything. So I just copy pasted um, the whole set and then I change the numbers. If the number doesn't fit the circle, you can just change the font size. In this case, I am um, choosing 90. But if you want them to be of the same sizes of the font size, um, you can just set um, a font size for all of your circles. So again, you will have to do this until you reach the top. You can create up to 35 numbers in the size of this canvas because we will be needing the top part for the title and the instruction and then the side parts for the chips. So in this case, I will not be filling the whole canvas. I just show you the process on how to do it so that we can move on to the next now in order for you to make the shape you can um, create uh, shapes from scratch or you can just copy paste one circle that you have from the canvas and then you can make it a little bit bigger because this will become your chips and you have to delete the number and then you can change the color so since connect 4 has two chips um, color yellow and red we will also be doing the same color if you want you can also change the color here I chose gradient yellow and also gradient red so again I just need to copy paste the chips that I made and then stack it up so because this will be the chips that we'll be using to put in each hole when the students are able to answer the questions So here is the red, and then again, I will just copy-paste it. So that is how you make the board game. Now... Um, here, we, you need to start um, putting the title of the game and then also the instruction. So here, I just um, typed connect for game and then you can change the font style and then the font size and also the font, the font color.
the number okay and then what you will do is make sure that the shape is transparent and then also the line is Thank you and God bless you teachers. I hope this video helps you. I will be uploading more content to also help you in this new normal. So I hope you will like and subscribe to this channel. Thank you and God bless you.